Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome back to Deflating and a uh, Escaping Atheism. My name's Max. Though joining me with uh, joining with me as always is Deflating Atheism. Say hello, Deflating. Hey, hey, got first billing this time. <laughs> Rock in the shades, and uh, I dig the look. Actually, I, I have a light sensitivity, and I often wear shades when I'm I've been in. Well, too much monitor glow. Too much monitor glow. You know, it'll get yeah. to. I'm wearing this so people can't see the bags under my eyes. That's that's the, the, the more important reason why I'm doing this. Did you get beat up by a bunch of atheists? You were really good. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. I was dogpiled by a bunch of atheists. <laughs> we have a... You know, what gets me is how completely irrational atheists are, and they don't know how to handle when they get back what they give, when they get pushed back on the same terms they give. For example, I'm not going to show a screenshot of this, but, uh, you know, we, we posted a video on Facebook, or I did, saying, hey, we're going live in a minute, so they're watching us now. And this one guy, Dan, uh, he, his first comment, which makes it clear he does not and has not ever really listened to us, uh, especially anything we've had to say on science, starts before we've even begun to say, it's always the same god of the gaps, baseless rhetoric, though. <laughs> anything new this week, ladies? Why? Why? The, see, I'm not going to put the screenshot there because old Daniel, Daniel there yeah. will, may try and call it for harassment, you know, and claim that we're sending our minions to get him blocked or something. So I won't do that for old Daniel there. But I will notice, uh, no, why did he make that up? Because it's a lie. Um, we'll just be curious, Daniel, if you ever feel like answering that too. I do click on his public page and I see his first quote is a little meme, you know, memes given to us by Glorious Dawkins. <laughs> of Seth Green saying, um, God is, to me, pretty much an idea. God is, to me, pretty much a myth created over time to deny the, the idea that we're all responsible for our own actions. Signed by Seth Green, a.k.a. Scott Evil. Daniel, let me tell you, I think you may want to re or, uh, rethink your priorities and who you look up to as a philosophical thinker um, we might want to upgrade from robot chicken and uh, uh, fucking uh, is, that, is that his character? Scott right? Evil. Scott Evil. Okay. So he's Scott Evil. That. Oh, you didn't see the old uh, freaking. He, oh, yeah, he, he was on. Um, what was that Mike Myers spy films? Oh, my God. It was from oh, the 90s. Oh, the Austin Powers. Austin Powers. Yeah, he was Scott Evil, Dr. Evil's okay. son. He also had a show on Cartoon Network. Um, uh, robot chicken and he's but he, he didn't say that in character that was just seth green talking there right? actually it would make more sense because he's about as smart as chris i can't do chris's voice either but he's about as smart as chris from family guy who by the way is also seth green seth chris the son from family guy yeah there's your dumbass philosophical heroes and 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 and, and atheists wonder why we get kind of cunty with them <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry you people look to the most shallow idiots yes as your heroes going all the way to the top with sam harris and Penn Gillette and richard dawkins by the way yeah i mean really oh my god here's my suggestion for daniel and anybody thinks like you a start getting used to being challenged on your beliefs and b stop just reading stuff from the new atheists and start looking for serious critics and i don't mean ken ham and yes and 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 Ray Comfort. Oh my God, you're not even trying when you're going to those guys. Go to somebody tough who we'll really challenge you. I'll just let you know now. In the next week or two, we're going to have an interview with a prominent historian who uh, uh, takes apart the new the the new atheist movement and most of the atheist so-called history of the last few centuries. Takes them apart completely as a real historian. I mean, seriously challenges the credibility. Um, and even the honesty and integrity of people like Sam Harris, uh, Richard Dawkins, and, and 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 so on. Which certainly a lay person could do, but this guy has, has the academic bona fides to back it up. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to say who he is, but uh, it's <laughs> – I'll probably send it to Sargon of Akkad just to challenge his absurd historical pretensions and its gross yeah. ignorance. Uh, maybe to a couple of others, too, um, who – because uh, it looks like, now I'm just pontificating, but we were just talking about this before show. Um, literally, no matter where you look in the New Atheists, they're a train wreck and disaster. Everything they touch is poo. Yes. Um, uh, their science is poo. Their history is poo. 
Their philosophy is poo. Can you can you spot their logic any? Is poo. Their what? Their logic? Yes. Yes, their logic is 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 well. You know, actually, some of their logic holds together if you accept their premises. Some of it. Like if you accept the premise that religion is the enemy of science, then much of their logic holds <laughs> is valid. Of course, almost none of their premises on religion are valid. But or, or if you accept the premise that atheists never have to prove anything they say by dint of the fact that they are atheists. Yeah, I, yeah I'm reading this book now by this historian, and he's pointing out how incoherent they are. Um, to even to the point where we've got Sam Harris and Christopher Hitchens both suggesting somehow that communism, even though it was explicitly atheist, even though it was, it was explicitly anti-religious, um, and used well, most well, of the well, same well, arguments that they did, that Dawkins and Hitchens did, most of the same arguments, they used the same. It was actually a dogmatic religious communism that did the murdering because the atheism can't have had anything to do with the hatred of religion yeah. and religious people because reasons. Yeah, this historian doesn't buy it. Well, you know, that was just my last video, the, the hacking atheism. Oh, I mean, yeah, hacking atheism. I mentioned promote you. Yeah, I really liked your hacking atheism video today and or this week. This week. It's really easy to trip them up on that point, yeah. Um, it's criminally easy to trip them up on anything, and I think that they what they rely on mostly is um, what I think of as the Velikovsky effect. Um, I know this sounds weird, but uh, uh, science, science nerds will dig it. If you've ever uh, heard of a uh, late 19th, early 20th century uh, pseudo-scientist, pseudo-history, who's very provocative and interesting reading, I mean, completely insane, but very provocative and interesting, it's this guy named Velikovsky. Um, uh, uh, he, 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 uh, I mean, he's fun reading. I would love some time, I'll see if I can Google real quick. Uh, Emmanuel Velikovsky, yeah, well, most known for books like Worlds in Collision and Earth in Upheaval. I mean, let me just say straight up, they're bullshit, right? I mean, they're but they're fascinating bullshit. Well, what, and, was, he like, and, was he like a Lysenko guy where the USSR lifted him up? No, no, no. Um, 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 uh, I'll I'll flash the the page here. Uh, just so people see what I'm looking at or who I'm looking at, why not? We're just talking at the moment, but I'll share my I'll share this screen, and this there. His name is Emmanuel Velikovsky, um, uh, uh, and here's the thing: he had wild uh, flights of fancy and 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 theories. Um, one or two things you might actually credit him for being right on like he was one of he was the first one published who suggested the continents would drift mm, mm. Uh, so well he may not have been the first he was the first popular writer to suggest that i think is more likely um um i mean he did have that suggestion and he was mocked for believing it so he yeah. had that going for him but that's sort of like saying you know i don't know giordano bruno thought the earth was I, that was that was the thing i was going to say it's just yeah. speculation it's it's speculation There's it no was speculation he wasn't qualified to make the observation he really yeah. wasn't um of course, and, uh, bruno is is a martyr uh, uh for atheists even. yeah we'll talk about giordano bruno one of these days he's no fucking hero uh, yeah, but uh no scientist um yeah. but uh, uh velikovsky had a long career doing this and what he did was he got to know a lot of prominent academics and um, what would happen with the academics is um, he would talk to historians and he would talk to scientists and share his theories with them. And what would happen routinely is that the uh, historians thought his science was fascinating, but that his history was kind of dodgy and real questionable. And the scientists thought his history was awesome, but his science was dodgy and kind of questionable. So, and, 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 and you have this same effect with some of the new atheists. Like I've mentioned so many times, Richard Dawkins, he's a nothing as an evolutionary biologist. He really yeah. is. He's a nothing. Sam Harris has this uh, paper PhD he got after like, I don't know, it took him almost a decade to get it. And it was nothing usual, uh, interesting or, or, or cutting edge. 
Um, Sam Harris is qualified to do absolutely nothing um, except pontificate, as far as I can see. He's not a scientist. He has a degree. That's about it. Um, uh, I can't, I, I'm, you know, every time you turn around, these intellects are being respected as if they've done something great. I mean, so far as I can tell, too, I don't think Jer Lawrence Krauss has ever actually accomplished much in physics. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Hawking, I, Stephen Hawking and Daniel Dennett are the only ones I know who've accomplished anything scientifically mm -hmm. in the atheist community, and almost no one else. And none of the historians are respected either. Yeah. Uh, Richard Carrier, for example, has no <laughs> respect at all among regular uh, among mainstream historians. Um, and it's not because they're afraid either. There's mainstream atheist historians and agnostic historians are like, Richard Carrier, really? Yeah, well, Carrier <laughs> just got his PhD like two years ago or something. And, and he like, seems to have gotten the PhD with the goal of getting, of being able to say oh, he has a PhD. A mythicist with a PhD, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, and so, whenever, uh, whenever a mythicist needs to needs to reference some scho scholar in quotation marks with a PhD, they either go to Carrier or Robert Price. Well, exactly. Oh. Um, but the, you know, so they they basically play the credentialist game. Yeah. Um, even as we've mentioned, although Stephen Hawking is very accomplished as a physicist, no, a cosmologist, no one would dispute that. Yeah. Um, he's still frequently quoted on issues completely out of his competence. Yes. yes. Um, and, 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 and the atheist response is the high IQ and the massive science accomplishments. And yeah, so what? Would you trust him to be your lawyer or your doctor? So and if the answer is no, why would you trust him to teach you anything about I was just you know? having that discussion earlier tonight. You know, they, they, they don't understand the argument from authority and that, you know, yeah, you, you can cherry pick one guy. I'll, I'll admit, yes, it was, in fact, uh, Stephen Hawking. That was the example. I said, well, Stephen Hawking is smarter than you than anything going, well, yeah, well, there are, a lot of, there, there are a lot of theists who are smarter than Stephen Hawking, so you can't just cherry pick an example and use an argument from authority there. You know? Oh, and the dirty little secret is that the number of, of physicists who are spiritual is ridiculous these days. Uh, and that probably has a lot to do with things like the cosmological constants and things like the digital universe uh, theory, yeah. which is all mainstream physics. Um, but they, you know, atheists are always going to go back to that 1998 informal survey of the National Academy of Sciences that I cannot, which find, is not scientific. <laughs> I did not find the primary source of that. It was in 1998. It was just a little survey that went around. The, the primary source on that is not available on the internet. What's most interesting is when you see surveys of like Chinese scientists where there's a strong cultural taboo on religion and it turns out even a strong contingent of them are turn out they believe in God or probably greater admit to than being religious. Hong huh? Kong, uh, uh, greater than the general public. There's more religious belief among scientists than there is among the general public. And that's part of uh, Elaine Howard Eklund's uh, research. I, I oh, okay. Well, uh, throw me a link to that, and I'll make sure to put that in the low bar okay. when we're done. Yeah, atheist stupid never ends. It never ends on history. Atheist stupid never ends on history. Atheist stupid never ends on science. Atheist stupid never ends on psychology. It, 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 uh, atheist stupid never ends. Speaking of which, let's talk about the video you picked out for us this week. I'll put oh, yeah. this on screen too. And now before I begin, hey, any of you Milo Yiannopoulos haters, listen, we're not here to defend. I'm not here to defend Milo. I have very ambivalent views of the man. However, the event, you know, he says liberal protesters. Okay, maybe you're liberal minded, so you don't like, and you don't feel this way, so you don't like being picked on. Fair enough. Nevertheless, this says something either about who's paid to go to protests or. Um, it says something about young people today and what they've been brainwashed to believe about religion. That's that's how I would see it. Let me actually see if we've got the sound working on this. Hang on. It's very difficult to hear in any case. Can you hear me? I can't hear that. Do you hear it? Yeah, turn it up and go back to the beginning. Yeah, I can't. So hang on, everybody. I'm going to do the old school geek thing. Um, and just change the sound. Sorry, I'm doing this in the middle. It's not very professional. But yes, this is have to live with it. Yeah, you only have a right to complain if you support us on me on Patreon. So go <laughs> get Patreon right now, and then you have a right to complain about uh, my full. 
Escaping and deflating atheism will give you a full refund if you're not satisfied with, with our <laughs> Exactly. Yes. All right. So, uh, do I have to do something to make that start switching over? Let me see. Okay, yeah, here it is. Most, uh, uh, we'll, we'll blow it up so you can all see it. And here we go. You should hear it more or less. Oh, my God! Prayer! Prayer! Oh, this is for the advocate. Okay, okay, now they're going to lose their minds right about here because they're going to hear a word that makes them lose their minds. You ready, guys? Here we go. In Jesus' name. Ah, Jesus, they said Jesus. Ah! What, what a sad show. You know, what a sad show. <laughs> Now, now, you said something earlier where you said that these, these might be people who were bust in. Well, so, here's the thing that you can't know. I mean, and, and I'm not even if, – if you hear me say that, yeah, I think some of them were bust in. Um, uh, 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 just because that's no longer uh, an unusual thing. That's not even yeah. a conspiracy theory anymore. In fact, both parties in Washington engage in this sort of crap now, um, and and so you know, town hall meetings and 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 that sort of thing are almost never worth going to if you know there's going to be a media presence of any significance, because there will be people showing up just to stunt, um, yeah. or just to disrupt, as we've also seen. Um, I, I I mean, uh, rationally. To what end? Because this this will do nothing but alienate the the majority of Americans. It's well, like yeah, great, you you scandalize our, our middle American middle class values. Now watch watch you lose the uh, midterms too. I mean, is that is that the objective here? I I really think that's the thing that they're not thinking about. They seem confident that with rage they will somehow i don't know impeach trump uh and win the midterms and bring about uh, you know the annihilation of all things trump and and whatever and and <laughs> listen i'm not even a big trump fan okay no, I'm not. Not. And, and, and and you know um but it's like when i watch this it's like driving me to think holy cow you know yeah. you hate us so badly I do consider you an enemy because yeah. you've declared yourself an enemy. Yes. That was not I declared war on you or you declared war that we declared war on you. That's a myth. And I wish someone would tell them that's a myth because they're mostly young and stupid or they're paid. And, and, and if they're paid, what does it say? Yeah. Yeah. And if they're not paid, what's it say? They both say nothing good. They would just well, say two different levels of awful. Go ahead. What? Paid, paid or not, bust in or not, that's still obviously representative of their of their true feelings. I mean, you know, 
Yeah, and they've so, been taught. They've been taught hatred of Christianity, and it's almost yeah. all lies. Yes. Um, and 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 I refer people to the fact that there's an atheist, skeptic, mafia that a lot of people talk about now. Even a lot of non-religious people are talking about it now. Uh, some of it came out of the the harmful opinions affair, which we had t discussed a show or two ago. Uh, we also had a video on by by, by missing the mark. Um, there is a big network of atheist activists and a growing number of us notice it. There's not only a network of atheist activists on the internet, Twitter, YouTube, etc., uh, but a blog network that attempts to hijack the, the search engine results so that um, the atheist presumption of the universe and atheist propaganda, you know, shows up high in certain search rankings. Yes. Um, um, they're given carte blanche in even mainstream sources now to preach atheism and, and as atheists keep talking about how stupid, awful, evil, etc. religion is, but will still accept no criticism of atheism whatsoever. Um, and oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a network of them doing their own pseudo-academic publishing. Pseudo-history publishing, Richard Carrier is one of the prime examples. Yeah. Pseudo-science publishing, I'm sorry, but at this point with mimetic theory, we have to say Richard Dawkins is one of those. He's also a Carrier, Carrier still publishes on private press, doesn't he? I, as far as I know, um, uh, and he's really not credible. Uh, we had, and it's funny too, uh, I have a new acquaintance. Uh, we almost might be friends. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I interviewed uh, Stephanie Thomason, uh, a video two back. Everybody check my interview with her out. Uh, she's fun and funny, and she's been fighting with Richard Carrier and Loris Krauss publicly on Twitter the last week or two. So it's been really funny. And uh, 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 she knows how to challenge those guys because she's, she's, a, she's a former um, administrator, dean or something, at a, at a, and is currently a full professor uh, at Tampa University. Uh, so they feel like, she, you know, they have to answer her, and she typically just devastates them. Yeah. Um, th this is the thing that's hardest to get people to hear. There's a network of these people, and they infiltrate science. That's what PZ Myers is. That's also what Thunderfoot was, frankly, before he yeah. figured out something wasn't quite, you know, something still stank. So, so he kind of got out of it. Although I still wish he'd be, stop being such an idiot on religion. Um there's a network. They call themselves atheists. They have a logo. They have memes. They have forums. They have dogma they can't prove. They have doctrines they can't prove. They have fake history. They have fake science. Yeah. They're a movement. Oh, and they seek political representation, and they advocate for positions that only atheists would advocate for. Yes. It's like, I don't feel there are enough people representing my lack of belief in the uh, political sphere. Yeah. If it's a lack of belief that says nothing about you as a person or how you think. But it's then, not adequately represented. Then, then, then where are the big atheists standing up uh, to, uh, to, to promote religion? And, 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 and the sanctity of religious rights. No, the atheist agenda is to deny the existence of religious rights, is what I find. By the way, I, I, I just, when I was reading that, maybe it was on Milo, Milo's Facebook page, but I came across the term, and, and I don't know why I hadn't made the connection earlier. It was the term is crybully. I said, is, is there a more perfect term to describe atheists? Crybully? Crybully. Oh, cry bully. No, there cry is bully. no, they are cry bullies. And this is why yeah. I keep telling Christians and other religious, because I just continue. Uh, I, the Freedom from Atheism Foundation has promised to, to get me in touch with some Buddhists who want to talk about uh, harassment, persecution, and mass murder of Buddhists by atheists. Because, by the way, as I've mentioned before, Buddhism is not an atheist faith. It isn't. That is Chinese government uh, propaganda. It's their own version um, uh, atheists have a record of killing more than Christians and more than Jews. They killed Buddhists and Hindus and Muslims for that matter, uh, for the crime of being religious. And only atheists kill people for the crime of being religious. So, you know, uh, and, and, and yet they, cr yeah, cry bully. I'm sorry. I, I started ranting again, but no, it's a perfect <laughs> term for them. It's a perfect term for them because they will, they think anything they say is just being critical.
Yes. That's even, that's even their whiny little mealy mouth, two faced weasel atheist term. I'm just being critical. Yeah, well, we're being critical of you. What's your complaint, bitch? <laughs> okay, now, now, you're just, now you're just sounding like the Christian Kyle Kalinske at this point. Uh, well, I know. I, they, they piss me off so much because they're such arrogant little snot-nosed punks, most of them. You know, sc you know Scott Evil from Rob and Robot Chicken Guy, yeah, that is the typical atheist. Um, <laughs> yeah. But, but the thing is, is that they do speak out of both sides of their, of their mouth because – they do. They're they're posturing as, as the superiors, and 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 the theists are, are these subhumans, and they are literally retarded. And who could believe all all this ridiculous sky fairy nonsense? They are the superior. They own us in science. We are just their playthings. And at the on the other hand, they're 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 pulling on our sleeve, asking us for a seat at the table. It's like, oh well, we we just want to be understood. We want to see the table. That was that was my whole issue with the whole reason rally. It's they they the the kind of press for that is that they're asking for a seat at the table. Well, on the other hand, they're demanding a seat at the head of a table. You know, that's that's it exactly. They privilege themselves in all discourse as the rational ones, yeah. and they privilege themselves in the discourse as the neutral ones. Yes. And the secular ones, nice, nice subtle erosion yes. of the language there. They, they now own both skepticism and, and rationalism. What? And, and all the whole lack of belief. Once they get a, a little more, uh, a little more legitimacy, that whole that whole lack of belief pretense is going to go out the window. Here's going, here. God doesn't exist. And and once they get even more power, it's you know the belief in God must be actively suppressed. This gets to what I have spoken about, and I, I, I need to do a whole essay on sometime, but atheist superstitions. And uh, atheists are the most superstitious people in the world. Um, they believe all kinds of things about religion, religious people, and uh, human history that are not only not true, but are batshit crazy not true. Yes. And they'll just credulously believe them. Yes. For example, the notion that religion is brainwashing. No, I'm sorry. Uh, it's how, you have some thoughts on the idea that religion is brainwashing, don't you? <laughs> for, uh, first you off, have they demonstrated the psychological phenomenon of brainwashing yes. on religious people? Yes. Have, they done, have they demonstrated that one? Where's the study? Yeah, I, I want to see the clinical literature. But it, it goes back. The, the, the even more essential problem is that they one of their superstitions is that atheists never have to prove anything they say. I'm even I'm doing the Donald Trump here. Atheists never have to prove anything they say. <laughs> Make atheism great again. <laughs> no, we will not be doing that. <laughs> but I, I mean, once you have that, it's like prove literally anything. You say, oh, well, I don't have to prove anything. I'm an atheist. And so if, if, that's, if that's your entire basis for belief, then we could just say on that basis, atheism is horseshit. And if atheism is just a license for making claims that you can't prove, atheism is horseshit. We, 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 we say that prima facie. I, I, I ran into one little atheist fascist, uh, I go oh, fascist, <laughs> atheist little, little, little nut job, um, typical brainwashed cultist. These kids are indoctrinated. That's the that's the scariest part, you know. I, I say it before I say it again, Sargon's law completely applies. They talk about being dogmatic, they're the dogmatic ones. They talk about being indoctrinated. Oh my god, young people are so indoctrinated now. They just believe this atheist agit prop. Yes. Um, and but but the, but they've been programmed with it, right? Check this out. Yeah. Here's the, here's the scientific truth. Copious evidence done by completely credentialed uh, uh, scientists. Uh, in the peer-reviewed literature, confirms overwhelmingly, um, work by Justin Barrett and many others, confirms overwhelmingly that most children develop a natural sense of God without any help at all from their parents. And uh, of the minority who don't, um, it takes very little prompting to get them to get the idea. It's an instinctive, natural belief. Um, it's rare for the kid not to have a sense of the spiritual and a sense of God. It's actually rare. Yeah. And, and it runs high in autistics and certain other types of neuroatypicals. Um, and so there is real reason to believe that a child who, has, who struggles with atheism has, may have a problem and may need help. <laughs> uh, chew on that one. Um, because belief in God is, of course, entirely rational and evidence-based. And 
listen to the atheists lose their minds right now that are listening because I just said it and will say it again belief in God is 100% rational and evidence-based and substantial evidence suggests in fact that you know inflicting atheism on children may indeed be child abuse and lead to psychological trauma so stick that in your eye kids science uh, suggests that your ideology which you claim isn't an ideology may be bad for children now um and it's certainly unnatural and weird which means we as uh you know non-atheists have a right to examine the atheist phenomenon and ask what makes the atheist mind tick and why are they different and weird that is a scientifically valid question i defy anybody listening to tell me it's not a scientifically valid question um so what got me off on that rant um oh yes so this little typical indoctrinated little girl um, who I have, you know, I don't treat them with respect when they do that, suggested we could dismiss that, that all of that literature uh, because Justin Barrett uh, uh, is, is a Christian. <laughs> of course. Okay, so, you know, he goes to church. He looks to be some kind of Episcopalian, Anglican, you know, kind of stayed mainstream, uh, old-fashioned Protestant, um, not even barely Protestant. Um, yeah, okay, so get this logic okay only atheist scientists need apply i mean if you actually go look at dr barrett's work you'll see he's very fair very scrupulous and it's been peer-reviewed and anybody can look at it yeah. but no we're going to dismiss it because it's not from atheists yes. so only atheists get to do science now and, and so and and so this goes back to the atheist superstition i mean literally anything atheists uh, say um, literally anything religious is evil and bad and can't be trusted. Yes. That's what they believe. Literally anything religious. How superstitious can you get? They also appear to believe that it's this brainwashing that once it infects you, will never go away. So it's like a cancer. Yeah. You have to yeah. avoid it. It's a curse. And you'll break your rational faculties if you believe something intelligent is running the laws of physics and probability. If yeah. you think that's a rational conclusion... Yes, you're going to go insane. Well, I, I mean, I mean, yeah. I, I, there, there are so many ways to go. Yeah, it, it is a complete non sequitur where they say yes, a, a science is useful for describing how the natural world works. Therefore, uh, the universe is just a spinning top, spinning for no particular reason whatsoever. Uh, wait, wait, wait. How do we get to that conclusion from that premise? It, it, it's a complete non sequitur. That we know it doesn't have a creator because we can use laws to describe it doesn't make any sense. It's that uh, it's that all that whole I see no need bit of reasoning, which yeah. is like really you see no need. Well, goody for you. Some of us see a need. <laughs> so yeah. what? Well, that's the thing. Maybe science has been so useful that we it might behoove us to completely narrow uh, narrow what we're willing to consider to purely the science just because it's, it's worked well. Okay, well, there's no need to do that. Well, we, in fact, there's no scientific proof that you, there's no scientific proof that you can run the world by science or explain everything by science. Yeah, you're gonna have to have some and, suppositions in there. In talking about empiricism, if you look into regimes run by atheists or that were said to be anti-religious, I'm sorry, they're more butchery and horrible. I'd rather live with Muslims, um, uh, with jihadis. I really would. Uh, ISIS would be about equivalent level danger of of some of the worst atheists who ever lived and yes. the fact that atheists won't acknowledge that this correlation at least exists yeah the fact that they will instead take offense rather than saying yeah we kind of kind of watch it um really well, we, you know, no they don't they will hold no responsibility for it well, when, when you're talking about genocide, uh, which is what Stalin did, I mean, Stalin executed, what, I think like $35,000, uh, 35,000 Orthodox uh, priests in one year. And they're so breezy in dismissing that. It's like, no, well, well, you know, it's just for communism or something. Well, and then they get their own alternate history going and trying to claim that Stalin founded the Russian Orthodox Church, which is such an evil lie. Yes. I mean, yes, there was some state co-option um, of the of the Christians who survived, but all the Christians who did manage to survive for you, there's a horrible tragedy. They know what happened. Well, what happened is, is, is that after the population was depleted after World War II, Stalin actually came to a, a, a sort of 
rational uh, conclusion that religion is useful at the very least for giving people something to live for and, and for yeah. perpetuating the, the population. Uh, throughout history, a lot of regimes have found that they really have. Um, so, uh, but I mean, really 10 million Eastern Orthodox Christians were murdered for being Christians yes. and, and many others and millions of others fled. So millions and millions of others are in fled. Some are still in diaspora here, like something called the Orthodox church of America. Um, the, 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 the point is that, um, uh, this is millions upon, you know, tens of millions dead, millions more fleed, lives ruined, etc. Uh, all in the name of anti-religion and all in the name of science, science and progress, scientific progress. And then they'll say they don't want to do that. But right now it's common for these young atheists to say, yeah, but teaching your kids religion is brainwashing. I, I, have, to, I have to give you uh, uh, credit. I think you have almost kind of uh, militarized my own thinking. Where, where I, nowadays I'm thinking on the level of if, if the objective of these people is the extermination of religion, why would I yield an inch to them? You That's know? correct. And I think more, I think not just Christians, not just uh, uh, Christians, but all Christians should get more like, really? You're one of those people, so you're against me and you're after my kid? Okay, we don't need to do business and we yeah. don't need to be friends. To bring it back to that town hall thing, uh, a town hall is a is a, is a is a private gathering. The GOP is a, is a private entity, and these people go in there and they hear something they don't like, and they're going to shout over it because they think religious people should not be able to pray in their and own. They hate the name of, and they hate the name of Jesus, so they every person should hear that. But even then, if you're an Orthodox Jew and you hear that, you need to be afraid. If you're an Orthodox Jew who believes in God at all, you should be afraid. Not, not because you love Jesus, but because, but because no, you're next. Yeah, if you're a God believing Jew, uh, you're next. If you're a serious Hindu, <laughs> you're next. You know, uh, if, you're, if you're, I mean, seriously, the, maybe the agno the wishy washy agnostics will get away with it, or the vague theists, maybe. Yes. Um, but seriously, you're next for these people, whatever your religion is, um, because what they well, hate is the whole idea of God, and they are ignorant not, and they will not learn. Huh? We, we know we know the New Zealand guy uh, has it in for the agnostics. Yes. Oh my God! Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Zombie Apocalypse, uh, the truth teller. He knows the truth. Um, well, what else can we say? Yes. Um, you never got a response from him, did you? Oh, I didn't even look. I guess I could go see. I didn't care that much. I'm um, really these. Whoops. I, well. Uh, uh, Nah, either you didn't answer or I didn't find it. I do want to show somebody a little preview of what's coming up on the Escaping Atheism channel, which I also want to recommend strongly, strongly, strongly to you and to all your listeners. Um, it's, it's this wonderful blog and Twitter guy. Well, I say guy. could be a girl. Um, don't think so, but, you know, whatever. Uh, here he is, the, ep the Ethical Skeptic. Um, you know, it's the ethical skeptic.com. Uh, he's also the ethical skeptic. I'm just going to say she, I'll, or he, I'll just assume it. Um, he is also the ethical skeptic on Twitter and he's awesome. He's one of the few people calling themselves skeptics these days who genuinely needs to be respected. Um, and I'm going to re be reading this essay on him by, by him called 10 reasons people no longer find skeptics credible. You can just go read it now if you want or whatever. But I'm a, I'm a huge, huge fan. Uh, he knows what real skepticism is. And, um, and, and he goes into some length about what's wrong with the skeptic movement in the atheist community. Uh, he doesn't believe in God. Uh, he doesn't disbelieve in God. He's one of the few I've encountered who seems to be a genuine and very committed agnostic, which means he questions everything all the time. And he does it yeah. very well, and including regularly and publicly questioning his own assumptions. Yes. Um, um, and, 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 and that's marvelous to watch. I mean, I, I kind of wish he'd come over here to the light side where the God people are again, but he, he, he made, you know, let me make sure I told people no. And yeah. that's fine. Well, the, the um, would just write him off as biased. They will. Yeah. They will. And he's, and it's a great article. This one in particular, all this stuff, but this one should go into a, a real science journal. Um, I'll just give it why are uh, skeptics and atheists generally, by the way, are losing popularity, not gaining it. 
um, By the way, even as more people are not religious. Even though more people are not religious, atheists and so-called skeptics are getting less popular. Yes. People who self-identify that way. Even Sam Harris wants to run away from the word atheist now, um, which I will never let him do because he's an, it was a horrible, oh, what a, ugh, ugh. Anyway, what were you going to say? Uh, yeah, no, I was just going to say uh, uh, one of the accusations that uh, that uh, atheists often level at Christians is that they choose their evidence to support their preformed conclusion. But that is exactly what they are doing. It, it's the Sargon effect. It is. It's exactly what they're doing. When, in they, fact, find, in this article, hmm? when they find evidence they don't like, they, they will dismiss the source because the source disagrees with their conclusion. Yes. So the in fact, James Randi is becomes a basis for dismissing the evidence. They're doing yeah. exactly what they accuse Christians of doing. Oh, yeah. Pendulette's hero, James Randi, has done more to shut down scientific and general free inquiry than, 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 than Ken Ham ever has. Um, this, this article is great. I'll just give you a highlights, which is, uh, you know, why more and more people can't stand self-described skeptics. One, skyrocketing medical debt and an increasingly sick young demographic, questioning a lot of the wisdom, not necessarily just on vaccines, but on all the ways we're feeding our kids and, 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 and drugging our kids. Uh, the social crucible they created around fringe subjects has been shattered. That's right. This is the one I really wanted to point out. Uh, you've got to check this out. Um, there's tons of things. You've probably noticed this uh, th that atheists are obsessed with that most people aren't even have the interest in, right? Yeah. Like I know, like I, I could give you, I could tell you three things I know about, about uh, what's that medicine that, they, that they're obsessed with? Well, they're obsessed with alternative medicine in general, which... Homeopathy. Oh, God, they hate homeopathy so much. Like the grand homeopathy threat. Yes. That's just one of them. He references this. There's uh, 768 subjects have been condemned by the skeptics dictionary with very little research as invalid areas of scientific inquiry or just scientifically invalid because they haven't, they don't see enough evidence to convince them. Yes. And, and, and there's, they've added so many things that there's all kinds of really smart scientists who can't stand these people anymore. Mm. Scientists can't stand them. Um, people, you know, he notes that statistics show that people are not buying big A atheism. That is, even though they're going down in religious attendance or affiliation, they're not self-identifying as atheists. And atheists remain unpopular. By the and way. Is trusted. Yeah. And that, he goes into a whole bunch more. So check the article out. Check him out. Go ahead. Make your point. Uh, there was uh, uh, something. It was either a Gallup or, or Pew Forum, and it came out like a month ago. And that was something I wanted to bring up with you. And, and it, it, it gauged Americans' opinions about various religious groups. And basically, Americans have warmed to basically every religion, including atheists, but including, including Christian denominations. Uh, what do you make of that? I haven't seen it, so I'll tell you okay. what, why don't we discuss okay. it next week? Send me the link and I'll look at it. I've seen several. I mean, uh, Christians, uh, people warming toward Christians, I would really like to see that because I've seen so much anti-Christian hate yes. personally as well as in the press, and uh, I've had enough of it. Um, and I, I also think with the, with the kind of warming feelings, even towards uh, agnostics and atheists, is that people recognize that atheism has lost its renegade iconoclast status. And, and oh, so, I so. To take a lot of the gas out of it. It should have lost that 10 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, it's, 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 it's if nothing else, the uh, seriously, you're, I, I'm going to say this to that Daniel guy or whoever's listening. Atheism makes you boring. Yes. Boring as shit. Yes. Oh my God. It makes you boring. Um, and uninteresting and unimaginative. And yeah. no fun to talk to. <laughs> really, it does. It makes you unattractive. <laughs> it just yes. does. Because you're closed-minded. Yes. And what's so funny is they will not, like, <laughs> I'm the free-thinking one. No, you're not. Yeah. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to get one of these guys in a, in a, in, in, in a chat and ask him, really, how are you free-thinking? I'll give him 20 things he won't even entertain. Because <laughs> he's atheist. Yes. You know, uh, because it's easy to do. Um, yeah. So, um, gee, we got a lot coming up this week. What do you got coming up this week again? Uh, just going to try to get back on track with my channel. 
uh, start making. I've been kind of busy. I've been working. Well, on, you're gonna do more hacking atheism. That well, that, that hopefully that will be a running series uh, uh, to come. But uh, yeah, uh, my my channel's kind of been in the dumps recently. But I've been editing an exploitation movie, so I have to get that out of the way. <laughs> oh, you're doing uh, fine, buddy. You're doing then, fine. Then back on. By the way, uh, I my uh, my uh, the uh, deflating atheism. Facebook page has actually gotten a lot of uh, uh, new uh, uh, likes recently. So, so check out the Deflating Atheism Facebook page. Oh, yeah. Please check out the Deflating Atheism Facebook page. Uh, there is an Escaping Atheism group, which uh, one of our volunteers runs, too. Um, Catherine Alex um, uh, Oda runs that. Um, not that we have that many people in there. Come check that out. Check us both out on Patreon. You know what? A buck or two. It really helps. It just shows that you care. It gives us motivation. If it's more than that, great, too. Um, everything helps. Uh, please like. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends or enemies. And look forward for more content coming that I've already mentioned this week. Uh, I guess uh, God bless. God bless. Thank you.